Hello, I'm starting my recording now. How is everyone doing? It's time for uh, some more Super Mario Land 2. I kept thinking that was a graphical glitch in the bottom corner, but no, it's just it's just Wario just exuding some garlic fumes. I guess it could be lightning, but it's probably garlic fumes. What is over here? Pumpkin zone? Oh, I could go for some chills right now because it's so darn hot. I mean, you gotta you gotta have horror in the summertime, right? Oh my gosh, it's it's ghosts and goblins. <laughs> Look at this. What is this? Is this like a Goomba wearing a a a, a Jason mask? <laughs> I'm not I'm not even mad. That's really funny. I guess I should just jump on it. Can I jump on it and not like die? Okay, yeah. I was like, is that sword gonna hurt me? The horror of summer is the sun. Too much Hemtaro, assuming everything is a graphical glitch. Well, it was only the first game that was like that. But I would love to explore, like, a, a haunted castle right now. Because it's probably a lot cooler than my apartment. Holy cow. Copyright infringement? No, it's fine. There's, he's got a knife in the top. It's a completely distinct character. I don't even want to kill them, really. Oh, I'm a little bunny. They're just like, they're they're ready for the Halloween party, except they all bought the same costume. Oh, Val, hello! Although, I've been meaning to ask, do you prefer Sasha now? I want to use the correct name. How are you doing in this heat wave? I hope you are staying cool. Either, okay. I want to make sure I'm using the correct name for everyone. I also appreciate Splatoon having such a mask. Okay, so these blocks are always solid. It's not like the, uh, the hell blocks from Mega Man. Vroom, 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 you know? Oh yeah, I'll take that. I'm kind of surprised there were boos in this game. Somehow I just wasn't expecting it. Oh, excuse me. Ugh. Do not touch me, I am allergic to ghosts. Did not take my ghost Benadryl today. The bunnier hat is really cute, right? I think this is my favorite aspect of Mario Land 2, and I love a lot about this game so far. But the rabbit hat and the way the ears wobble when I walk, very cute. Can we put this in another game, please? Why has this not appeared in another game since? It's so cute! And I think it's distinct enough that it could be its own thing. I guess maybe the only concern is it might be a little broken in a 3D wow. Mario game. Well, never mind. No more rabbit. That's true. Val would know the benefits of bunny ears. Hang on. What is down here? There's multiple paths I gotta explore. Oh, I don't want to go that way. This game doesn't get enough love in general from Nintendo or from fans. Well, we gotta give it some love, clearly. It's so dang cute. Bat, can I jump on you? I can. Oh, nice! Thank you, Bat. You died so that I may live again retroactively. Is that- sorry, is that just like a whole dang Dracula? Well, it was. <laughs> Why is that an enemy? Hello, Rifam. Yeah, put the rabbit suit in a Mario Party game. Come on. Ham ha! You haven't played any Super Mario Land, so you're finding it disconcertingly weird. Well, I've only played the the other, the first Super Mario Land, and honestly, that one is disconcertingly weird. It doesn't really feel like a Mario game. Oh, it's. What are these called? These yokai. Boogie, do you know? They kind of look like Muppets, though. Like, the eyes, the tongue. Oh, this... This level is just filled with yokai. Kasa Obake, my nemesis. Taking forever to throw your sandal at me. Ooh, can I get up there? Is there, like, a secret block, or can I just... Oh, I'm gonna get stuck on top of this pagoda. Ooh! 
Yeah, lantern yokai. I don't know what they're actually called, though. Mario Odyssey puts so many obscure Mario references in his costumes. It almost surprises you there aren't any to this. Yeah, what's up with that? Missed opportunity. Hang on, I'm gonna have a look down here, too. Can I get in? No. What about here? There we go. Ah! <laughs> what? What the heck? Did you put that block there specifically so I would bonk into that fish? Wow. Rude. Yeah, well, Kaizo moment. This game's had a couple... Not exactly Kaizo. Actually, no, it has had a Kaizo block. That sushi looked just as surprised as me. Oh! Oh, it's like this! Oh, it's like that one level in Mario 3. Oh, except not really. I can get back up here. But you know that one level in Mario 3? Um, one of the, the fortresses? Where you have to kind of take a roundabout route because you have to go beneath part of it to hit some some blocks so you can go on an upper path and get to, to the- whoa! To the boss, hello? Also, hello, Claire. There's a 1960s J-horror film series called Yokai Monsters that you've been meaning to watch for a while. That you can tell me the name of all these yokai. Eh. That one was always difficult for you. It is kind of a roundabout level. Same with the one in um, Iceland, where you need to fly up using the uh, raccoon tail and carry a Koopa shell up with you so you can break some blocks to get to the goal. You know the one I'm talking about? And it's full of those little guys, I don't remember what they're called, but they have the little helmets on and they pick up the blue blocks and throw them at you. I don't recall what those their names are. Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah, that was- that was inevitable. Isn't yokai monsters like saying monsters monsters, though? Oh, I can't- I can't drill because I got hit by a ghost. That's a shame. Oh, but I can- I can get this, so that's- it's fine. Yeah, it doesn't stop hunter hunter. You don't say the X, right? It's just hunter hunter? I've never read or watched it. I've heard good things about it, though. The one-eyed yokai might have been a Hitotsume Kozo. I will take your word for it because I certainly don't know. I should brush up on my yokai since I've been playing uh, Shin Megami Tensei 5. Not that it's really full of yokai or anything. I need something else to run over. Give me the fish. Give me the fish. Yeah. I didn't catch it on the recording or when I started the recording, so I will say it now. Um, I've been informed that on the Game Over screen, you can hear Kazumi Totaka's famous song. Um, so after I beat this, I'm gonna start a new file and just kill Mario so we can all hear it. Eh. Eh. I'm kind of nervous to just swim forward because I don't want to hit the tongues of those guys. I assume they hurt. I mean, I wouldn't want to be licked. That's not sanitary. So why are those fish sweating perpetually? Is it as hot in the water as it is here? Eh, I can't break this. I'm a bunny. Hang on. Okay, I need you to lick me. Thank you. Ugh, how do I... There we go. Can rabbits swim? That's a good question. We know hamsters can swim. And hamsters don't turn into rabbits when they grow up, according to Hamtaro. Oh, I found the secret exit. Yay! You were licked by a puppy yesterday. Oh, you mean waffles? There was that one Ace Attorney character who named a bunch of yokai, and you were surprised to learn that every single one you mentioned was real. Yeah, I know what you mean. It wasn't Jinx who did, was it? Like the one in, uh, what was it, Tenma Town or something? Mori streams are great for learning rodent facts, aren't they though? Doyoing. Oh, sorry. I guess in retrospect, that's kind of cruel. Doyoing. I am not getting enough height from this. Do do yo do yoing. I need I need more do yoing here. 
Uh, nope, no doing there. All right, well, at least there isn't death beneath me, probably. I'm not getting any airtime from these Goombas. Maybe there's a trick to it that I'm just not doing right because I'm flapping with the rabbit ears. Oh well. I don't I don't really need the money. I gosh, I have 954 coins. I have to try that that big old slot machine when I hit 999. There's got to be something good, right? Oh. All right. I'm not sure what the purpose of this this level is except just to kill some poor goombas. Oh, here we go. The fish are kind of terrifying. The ones that are sweating profusely. Also, hello, Don. I don't think I said hello, but hello. Oh, yeah. I was like, how come I can't go past this level? Because I didn't technically beat it. I got the secret exit. I have to hold down jump. When I'm mashing to flap, it can be a little difficult to time. That's probably it. I gotta take a break from the mashing. But at least there wasn't death beneath me. Just in front of me. Excuse me. Excuse me. The ears also kind of look like the wings Asterix has on his helmet. I wonder if Asterix and Obelix are really that well known outside of France. I don't know. I remember seeing one of the cartoons in my French class in like fifth grade. Our teacher was a fan, but none of us were familiar with them. Oh, pause to check and hydrate. Hang on, let me. Ugh. Dum, da, 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 da. Thank you. I needed that hydration. I stuck my uh, water bottle in the freezer a little bit before the stream. So I have cold water. Your mom is a big Asterix fan. So they are kind of known here in the West, just not as well known probably as in the, the native France. You grew up with Asterix and Tintin cartoons and books. I remember seeing the Tintin cartoon. The comics always look like fun, but I've never gotten to read them. I remember looking in the library once, thinking, oh, you know what? I bet they have Tintin comics, because the library I'd gone to had a surprisingly robust comic section. Like, that's how I read all of Blackjack, which, great manga, incidentally. Ah, dang it. I was gonna try and get some air, it didn't work. But anyway, I looked in their comic section, and at first I got excited, thinking, Oh, look, they have Tintin books, but then it turned out they were all, like, art books. From, what's his name, Harish, the author? But not actually the comics themselves, so, never mind! Hello, Darth. Spooky, scary skeleton sends shivers down my spine. Well, they're not sending enough shivers because I'm still roasting. <gasps> it's a ghost Goomba. So this music is really cute. Oh! No! I forgot about my ghost allergy! Oh. There's no secret blocks up there, is there? Probably not. Ghost buh. Kurio bake. Maybe that's what they're actually called in Japanese. Because they're called kuri- uh, Goombas are kuribo in Japanese, and obake is the word for ghost, so... Kuribo- uh, Kuri- Obake. Kuribo bake? I don't know. I'm, it's a work in progress. Do, 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 do. Mario facing the end for Metal Gear Solid 3. I feel like, didn't we make- Oh no, we made that joke, but it was during Hamtaro against uh, when we were dueling Golham 13. That must sound totally deranged if you didn't see any of the Hamtaro streams. <laughs> oh, there's stuff down here. Or is it. Oh, I see that platform. It's gotta be secrets, right? I don't know where death is. Oh, maybe this is just to bail you out if you fall. I gotta find the secrets though. I can't. I don't wanna. I don't wanna get myself killed. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid 3 coming up a lot lately. Uh, maybe someday I'll stream Metal Gear. I do not have the patience for stealth. Uh, 
I like my rabbit though, but okay. Maybe there's like blocks I need to break with fire, so I'll take fire. Maybe fire can kill ghosts! No, it can't. I don't know why I thought this Mario game would be any different. Well, that was a waste. Booze are based on someone's wife, not Miyamoto, you think Tazuka. It's possible, like, it sounds vaguely familiar. Oh, no, like being so shy. Uh-oh. Don't do that. Was there a platform down here, or am I losing my mind? Like, I thought I saw something. But I also don't want to just jump into the abyss. Whoop. Well, the abyss is claiming Mario anyway, so it doesn't matter. The ghost Goombas are called Terekuribo. Oh yeah, because Teresa is the Japanese name for Boo. From, I think, Teru Teru, meaning, what, bashful? I might be getting that wrong. Let me up here. I don't actually need anything up here, though. Eh. Death becomes me. Ah. Uh, it's not a movie. No, Death Becomes Her. That's a movie. I remember seeing my, my parents watching it. A nice name for a ghost. I concur. I do have max money. I gotta go gamble it all away. Since I guess there's nothing else to spend it on. Right? There's, there's nothing else to spend your coins on in this game. Excuse me. These are all the Goombas that I have stepped on coming to haunt me. I don't really want to know how many Goombas that would be, actually. Like, you know, Tonberries in Final Fantasy and how they have, like, oh, everyone's grudge. Ah, buddy. So they, uh, um, do damage sort of based on how many Tonberries you've killed. Can you... Ha. Okay, well... Uh, okay, I see. Smashing all the others meant it's inaccessible. Not that I need it. Anyway... Maybe there's like a super Goomba out there that grows in power based on how many Goombas you have stepped on, but like collectively in every Mario game. I'm making sure Wario can't get any of these coins, correct. I mean, what does he spend all of his ill-gotten gains on? I mean, there's only so much garlic that you can fit in your, your home. You know, you don't have unlimited space for garlic. I don't know what else he's gonna buy. Maybe another motorcycle. Is that an arrow? Is that pointing up? Is there a secret above me? Can you move, please? Oh, I swear that's an arrow. Not just the six golden coins, but these cheap brass ones, too. Little buddy. Little buddy, you need to leave me alone, okay? Oh. Ugh. I can't seem to hit anything there. So the Goomba fight that's like the Sora. <laughs> yes. Exactly. My god, it's just it's Metal Gear Solid 3 all the way down. Well, I don't know what to do about that arrow question mark. Unless I'm missing something. You had to do it. I'm glad you did, honestly. It's a theme now. There's no official English name for Tere Kuribo. Well, we need a name for it that isn't just Ghostba, I guess. I missed the secret exit in that level. Yeah, I had a hunch. Is it related to that arrow I was looking at? Boomba. That makes it sound like they should explode. And we already have those exploding Koopas from the first Mario Land and then the bomb buzzy beetles from this one. Goombu. There you go. It's so obvious. Okay, maybe I gotta use the, uh, the bunny and flap flap my way up there. And just not hit a ghost in the meantime. Something about this song feels very Kazumi Totaka. Like, it sounds like the music- it sounds like something you'd hear in Link's Awakening, specifically. Like, in a cave, or... It reminds me a little bit of... The- the chicken guy from Link's Awakening that looks like Luigi. 
he had, not exactly, but the song that played in his house was a little similar to this one, I feel. Did we try any of the other worlds? Uh, for this today, the Pumpkin World is the first. What is it? Pumpkin Land? Pumpkin Zone? Oh, I should have put Air Conditioner Zone in my stream description. I forgot that what they were called. Here we go. Aha! Yeah, this is Sonic. Oh, your allergies are terrible. Oh, no. I hope you got something you can take for him. Reminds me, I gotta go see my dermatologist about more of my allergy meds, because I'm almost out. Oh, I guess I need fire. Oh, oh. Something poetic about that one-up just... Oh, no. <laughs> Something poetic about as poetic about Mario just hacking off into the abyss. No, don't go back. What do you, Mario? No, what are you doing? What? Now, wait. Is it because I died? I have to beat it again? I can't. What? Uh -huh. Mario's like, no, I'm a good. No. What? Do I have to beat it again to get to the secret? Mario just nopes out. He doesn't wanna. I gotta go through the secret exit. <laughs> well, I, I guess I'm glad it's a short level, but that's that's a baffling design decision. Oh well. I'll turn it to hit a ghost. So hey, well I am retreading ground. How are you all doing this week? You already know I'm just gradually melting into a puddle of slime. It's so hot. Uh, I think today is the hottest day it's been so far. The forecast says maybe rain on the weekend, maybe, but that doesn't mean anything here. So who knows? I think I looked at the weather last night and it said, oh, Saturday chance of thunderstorm, but now Saturday is just hot all the way through. So. Now it's Sunday chance of thunderstorms, but pfft, I will believe it when I see it. Excuse me. Thank you. I also hope I get rain. Talk about pulling a Mari no. Joanna, hello! And thank you for the hydration message. One sec. Oh goodness, you're going to Ontario tomorrow. Why Ontario? Is it overcast? No. The sky was totally clear today. There's secret bonus stages. There's supposed to be secretive. This secretive, though? Can I not just, like... Yeah. Whatever. Oh, uh, but now this feels like it's against the spirit of the thing. No, I'll use it the way intended. And I'll try not to fall this time. Ugh, now I'm scared. Yeah, you gotta do it this way. I don't wanna just cheap out and use the bunny. I'm so honorable. Thank you. Can you say that again next time somebody jokes about me rigging Mario Party? I am honorable. <laughs> Which is definitely something an honorable person would say. Is there anything down here or is it just death? They wouldn't put a secret exit inside a secret exit, right? Man, I should focus on what I'm doing. Oh. Scary. Something about platforming on the Game Boy is extra scary. It's like I don't I don't trust it somehow. Physics slightly different. Mm. Ugh, quite scary. Oh, I don't even have to go in here, but I did anyway for you, the viewers. Do, 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 do. Oh, heck. Ugh, okay. We good. No secrets inside secrets to sing Donkey Kong Country. Okay, good. <laughs> I did it. Now to the cool skeleton. Are you gonna go see a girlfriend for a week and a half? I hope you have a wonderful time! 
Did uh, did you and Val also get hacked over by that um, that Rogers outage on Friday last week, my fellow Canadians? That was that was fun. <laughs> I feel like I should be able to go in this this cauldron. Oops, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. What is this? A leech? Is that just a leech? Medical grade leech just floating around? The enemy design in this game rules. Oh, you're in Virgin Mobile. Smart, I think. They dance to the music? Eh? No, right? I mean, this isn't New Super Mario Bros. with the buzz. Oh, the booze on the map screen. Okay, I gotta look. You personally didn't, but a lot of places were closed that day. I know, um... Friday was the first day of the Calgary Stampede, so I can imagine nobody being able to use debit down there is a, a, a good thing. At my place of employment, um, that was definitely a little hectic. Learning that we can't use debit for anything. So we had to ask customers. It's just, just a broom, okay. Uh, just, do you have another form of payment? Sorry, please don't yell at us. It's not our fault. Everything's broken. Oh, there's just like salamanders. Oh, there's more, um, Jason Goombas. Do these not have official names either? Oh, uh, yeah, this, this game rules. I love it. What is in here? Nothing. I, I want I want the tanuki leaf so I can break those blocks. Is it just money down here? I have no need for money. I have to go gamble. Oh, I have to go gamble my money away. Behold the medicine cabinet. The weird wriggling thing. Oh, is it supposed to be a cut off tentacle? It looks like a leech though, doesn't it? Ah. Nobody could buy any cricket hot- actually, sorry, I think they were mealworm hot dogs. Maybe they were also cricket hot dogs? I don't remember. I want to try that- that mac and cheese soft serve. Because I would unironically eat that. I, can I just buy that just at the store, please? I am not dealing with the crowds and tourists and the heat. Oh, I am- um, the trains have been so full lately. Oh, a boss, that's right. The Jason Goomba's official name is J-Son. J-Son. Very cute. Oh, what what just hit me? What What is hitting me? I don't understand what was damaging me. And now for Cooking Mama, Stereotype Witch Edition. She's just in her Halloween costume. Can I jump on this broom? Well, I clearly can't run into it. <laughs> Your cell phone provider is closing doors and you have to find a new one. Oh, that's beans. I hope you can get a good one at a reasonable rate. What I need to do is get a new phone, honestly. But I just, I hate... The, the prospect of, of having to do it, and I'd want a refurbished one. I ain't buying new, but I'm sure they'll try and sell me on a new one. I'm like, no, I don't want the latest model of garbage. I just... I need something that works. The problem is I don't like Apple, but I have an iPhone, and I don't want to get another iPhone. I should hit that other block before I fall in. But I don't want to go through that hassle of trying to switch um, my, like, the whole, like, to an android or whatever. Like, I have no energy, and I don't want to have to go dealing with, you know, some customer service representative forever trying to get things sorted out. I'm so tired. You know what's hurting me, but you want to see how long it takes me. Is it these cauldrons I'm standing on? Do they get too hot? Is it the bones in the background? Uh-oh. Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see. Superheated cauldrons. I get it. So, you know, if I thought I could just, you know, like, stand on them. You know, like, the heat doesn't doesn't bother Mario. Oh, what? Or is it the spikes up there? Okay, the spikes. There's... 
Well, it doesn't matter. Ding dong, Cooking Mama is dead. I didn't realize those were actually spikes up there hurting me and not merely window dressing. She's just trying to make dinner and this, this strange Italian man is stepping all over her pots and pans. Because you need to use fresh tomatoes. What is in here? Oh, wait, no, 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 before I do this, I need to gamble. I need to gamble. I got meat hooked, but it's okay, because I won. Mario just has some awful gashes on his back. The spikes on the ceiling act like spikes, but they don't look like proper spikes. They're all wibbly-wobbly. Alright, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Alright. Cool, I'm broke. But I bought many so more many more opportunities to live. Gotta gamble all my coins. I mean what else is the point? Yeah, that reminds me, I, I gotta or somebody remind me when I go back down by Turtle Land. I wanna see the whale with its eyes open. It I'm tiny. Macro zone. Oh how cute. Twenty lives for nine hundred and ninety-nine coins is still above the average exchange rate for a Mario game. I love the way that's phrased. Oh you! You're like the charge and chucks from Mario World that dig up balls of rock at me. It gave me such a headache. In that one level in uh, Mario World remade from memory. Charge an ant. There's a picnic afoot, and they're gonna- Whoa! I don't think ants can do that. You know, because Mario is an accurate reflection of insect physiology. Ma'am, I don't think you should be able to do that. Coin inflation got real bad after Mario Land. Nobody can afford an extra life anymore. What that- is that a- what is that, a cannon on your head? Isn't there some actual species- no, I'm thinking of the- the shrimp. Shrimp. The torpedo shrimp, whatever they're called. Okay, don't jump on the smooth ones. Smooth ones are a trap. These ants are cannon. Ah! Can't believe Grounded ripped off the zone. Yeah, all the world themes in this are so good. You know, more interesting than, than your usual grassland, lava land, ice land, pipe land. Whoop. I really want them to bring back all these enemies. These enemies are so fun. Eh. Pistol shrimp, that was it. They punch so hard they make explosions. Thank you, I'm glad someone knew what I was talking about and I was making some degree of sense. I am no charge and chuck. You are about to receive the beating of your life. But worry not, for it is free! Now, I... I need to... Okay, wait. Can I send fireballs down here so I can... And then get injured so I can accept... No, I can't... Eh! Because they just vanish right away. Eh! <laughs> I don't know what I expected. <laughs> Alright, I can't step on... I can't... I can't, uh... I can't fireball those. <laughs> it was good. Mario was also feeling the heat, just like me. Verisimilitude, that's what I'm going for. Just as hot in the game as it is in real life here. Okay, so it's, it's a trap here. I see. Followed by, dang, I should have charged. Then I would have had something in my pockets besides shame. Shame and lint. Okay. Ugh. I see, I see. See, that's just mean. I mean, the levels aren't very long or difficult, but it's still mean. Maybe the real Kaizo blocks are the friends we made along the way. 
I think that sounded pithier in my head. Oops, you dad now. Congratulations, Mario. It's a Goomba. <laughs> I don't know what a Kaizo friend would imply. They're probably not actually actually your friend, though. Excuse me. I was so sure that was going to lead to a secret exit. But now I have 56 whole Marios I can throw in a pit of lava. I gotta look before I leave. Oh! Speaking of, a hole! Oh! Well, alright. Well, as much as I want to go run ants over, I should get in here. Eh. Go, go, go. Never mind. Wouldn't those just be frenemies? It's different. It, I don't know how they're different, but they're different. Oh, it's an auto-scroller. Oh, I hate auto-scrollers. Okay, I don't need that. We're good. There's an- Oh, the enemy counter in the bottom of the HUD. Oh! Oh, so if that hits 100, I- I- or maybe- Yeah, I guess if it rolls over, I get a star? Because I seem to recall another mysterious star appearing a ways back, and I didn't know where it came from. Another moose level. Oh, heck, how do I... Uh-oh. No, we're good. We're good. I was like, wait, how do I How do I drill again? Like that. I, uh, I remap my controls a little bit. So I'm using the, uh, the Y button on this Xbox controller as the B button. Just feels a little more natural. I feel like this may, may have been a mistake. Oh, I could have spin, spun, spun jumped on that block, but I didn't. Ugh. Moose is the word you use for auto scrollers. I would like to know the uh, the story behind calling them mooses, mooses. Mario is rewarded for his bloodshed. Yeah, you know this reminds me of um, one of the tracks in Snowboard Kids Two takes place in one of the characters, Wendy's house, but she uses a shrink ray on everyone. What the? You know what? I ain't even mad. You take that. That's yours. She just wanted a little loving. But yeah, the uh, inventor character, Wendy, uses a shrink ray on everyone um, so they can snowboard in her house. That was always a fun concept for me. Oh. No. Moose, okay, is the word you use for auto-scrollers, because when you were six, you couldn't say moving screen. So it became moose. It's adorable. I love that. Did you call movies mooses? I may sneeze. Uh-oh. Ugh. Oh, I can't get, get past this impenetrable wall of <coughs> dollar store novels. Pardon me. Levels and tracks and games that are super huge are always awesome, right? It's just, it's fun seeing these everyday objects as being these gigantic obstacles. Dang, I love Snowboard Kids, too. Good game. Is there anything? No, there's nothing here for me. Just Goomba. Oh. <laughs> Where are these witches stealing hearts? You could say movie, but moving screen, specifically in a video game concept, didn't quite click. I don't know if I had a word from them when I, uh, for them when I was little. Boy, the timing of like boinging off these guys is wonky with the, the bunny ears. I can't quite do it. More money to gamble away. Eh, 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 eh. Is there anything up here? Probably not. Typically your word was dumb. <laughs> Straight and to the point. Very correct. I just, I don't like them because if you die it takes so long to get back to where you screwed up. And then you screw up again! Oh, is this the boss already? <gasps> Mouse, hello. It's so pointy. <laughs> ah! I don't know you could do that. I didn't want to use fire on it, because that also felt unsportsmanlike after 
And Dora pointed out how powerful fire is in this game. Come on. Come here, little buddy. Oh. Does he just drop down in the middle and not where I'm standing? Hang on. There we go. There he goes. It's like Morton climbing onto the ceiling and falling. Mouston. Castle Crusher's a challenge back in the day. The music is so good, though. I think I like Castle Crush better than Toxic Tower or Chain Link Chamber. Well, the Toxic Tower's okay once you get past the Radley bit, but I don't trust myself with the, um, his special spring jump when you hold A. Oh, I guess I just gotta beat this the normal way. Mario vs. Ordinary Sewer Rat, place your bets. Is that boing sound the same one a dog in Undertale makes? My god, I think you're right. Like, when it barks? Oh, I can't jump on that? Oh. But yeah, no, um, the, uh, the greater dog that you, uh, find in Grillby's playing poker with the other dogs and you talk to him and he makes that boing noise? Yeah! That's it! Good catch, Boogie. I mean, I don't know if it is... Oh, if it is actually it, but it sounds just like it. And I know Toby Fox has sampled music and sound effects from a lot of other games. Oh, Mario, go in the pipe. Go in the pipe, Mario. Don't be shy. See, if I die, it's just a clever way of me farming coins. So I can get another 20 lives. Definitely intentional. Those are the strats. Ugh, I don't like how the spiky ones stop moving. When you were tennis, you could not beat Slime Climb in World 3. I think that one's also pretty tricky if you're you're little, just the dexterity required. And how, you know, you can't really afford to miss any of your jumps, because if you fall in the water, you're most likely hosed. Odds are oh uh, what? Odds are not good you're gonna get out without getting bitten. No. I'm rushing too much. You still die at the stealth gutsman's ass moment in Undertale. What, the, um, with dummy, I think? Flowies, that's a wonderful idea, was from an old Ron Ronald McDonald commercial. And I think his laughter is from, like, what, Tomba or something? Yeah, when the dummy wakes up. da -da! fun finding, like, the little, like, recognizing the little samples he uses. You know, or, like, how Dog Song, I'm pretty sure, was rendered in Mario Paint. Aww. Leave in shame. There it is, the booth. Did anyone play Sim Ant? I have a very recollection of my dad maybe having a copy of it, but I don't remember seeing him play it. I love that this this beetle is uh like crab walking. <laughs> maybe they tried uh, rendering it from a profile view, but then no one could tell it was a beetle. Yeah, Sans's voice is like a sample of Patrick from SpongeBob, which I think is hilarious. Once you hear it, you cannot unhear it. You once read an LP of Simant, that's the most from you. Ah, heck. Darn cheap cheap. I know my dad also had Sim Earth, and he talked about playing that one, and facilitating a race of super intelligent starfish that killed each other in nuclear war before they could achieve space travel. I don't really have the patience for Sim games myself, but it's interesting hearing about them. I think my my most experience with the Sim franchise is playing SimCity 2000 on school computers. I had fun like building cities, but like I didn't have the manual or anything, so I didn't really understand how to make them work. Um, especially with regards to water, so I would just like drag water lines everywhere. 
Why are you all complaining you have no water? It's there. Dig it up yourself. I'm not your mom. I guess I am your mayor. You played a lot of Simcopter. How is Simcopter? My dad did not play Spore, no. I think that, that came out after he didn't really play PC games as much, plus he usually played pointy-clicky adventure games, like Myst and Riven. Um, some other stuff too, like the original Alone in the Dark. I watched a lot um, when I was little, just like looming over his shoulder. The Neverhood? The Neverhood was a good one. I liked the music in that one a lot. Um, something I think called Noir, but I don't remember much about it, just that it was all in black and white, some kind of detective pointy-clicky adventure game. I'm sure there's more I'm forgetting about, too. Simcopter is very fun, very broken. Well, some people find a lot of entertainment in finding ways to break games. He used to like leaving pheromone trails into the enemy ant hill to cause an all-out war <laughs> in Sim Ants. <laughs> Although when you tried to kill the queen, she usually bit your head off. That's, I think, a fair response to someone trying to kill you. I'm just gonna, I'm not even looking where these go. I'm just gonna hit one. See what I get. I am no longer a bun. That's so sad. You had King's Quest 7 at one point, too. I've read a Let's Play of a couple... I've seen a couple of the King's Quest games played, like the one with Rosella as the protagonist. I don't remember what it's called, though. And also the one where you play as... I don't remember their name. It's a kid who's, like, being held captive by a wizard. And you have to time the stuff you do carefully at the beginning of the game. Because if he catches you doing anything you're not supposed to, he'll just smite you. Rosella is the protagonist in 4 and 7. Okay. I think it was 4 that I read. Um, where uh, she has to find a cure for her, her dad, King Graham. Because he's wasting away from something. You played one King's Quest but couldn't finish it. I know they're Sierra Adventure games, so they're very obtuse and... Um, what is the word I want? Oh! Okay. No, Mario, leave. Obtuse and... What is the word I want? Maybe it's just obtuse. There's some other O word I want. No, not stupid. Um... Why? Oh, is it driving me crazy? Unintuitive, perhaps. Let's say unintuitive. You remember watching your older brother play King's Quest V when you were little, and he, he got stuck and had no idea what to do. You couldn't help him. Well, I know like, also a lot of Sierra adventure games, it's really easy to do something that puts the game in an unwinnable state. Which you don't find out about until like much later into the game. I find game design, especially old adventure games, is weirdly fascinating to me. So, I've read a bit about a lot of old Sierra titles. And just how cruel they can be, and thinking, man, I would not have the patience for this. Like, is anyone familiar with Space Quest? The, um, first Space Quest has a bit where you wind up stuck floating in space with no idea uh, how to leave. And it turns out the only way to leave is to get a jetpack. And the only way to get the jetpack, which is not hinted anywhere, is when you arrive at this settlement in this desert, or this town on a desert planet, um, a guy offers to buy your speeder from you. But you actually have to decline his offer. And then he offers to throw in a jetpack. And you gotta take that offer. If you say no again, then he just steals your uh, cruiser and you're stuck. But, I mean, you don't know that he's gonna th offer to throw in a jetpack if you say no. So if you take him up on his offer, then much later in the game, you wind up stuck. Floating in space with no idea what to do. And if you don't have the jetpack, well, uh, sucks to be you. Start the whole game again. Hope you had an earlier save. You didn't find the coin in a barrel and buy a pie? You can't cross the mountain because of the Yeti two hours from now. Sorry! 
That's Sierra! <laughs> Making you glad you stuck to Nintendo as a kid, same. When those games were in their heyday, I was either not born yet or too young for them. I guess it's everything in Macro Zone. Um, so I've just mostly read about them after the fact, or read Let's Plays. Because I find, like, story-wise they're interesting, but oh, I would not have the patience to suffer! Do you bribe the Yeti with pie or coin? I, I don't recall which, like, King's Quest game it is. Did I do this level already? Whatever, we're doing it. Again. Oops. Um, but there's some instance where you have to, like, feed a bird. And you have, I think, a pie and a piece of meat. And intuitively you would give the meat to the, like, an, it's an eagle or something. It's some bird that eats meat. But if you do that, then you can't beat the game later on because you need that meat for something else. What you're supposed to do is give it the pie, I believe. And the game doesn't tell you, but if you give it the pie, you give it half the pie. So you have more pie to use later. Anyway, I might be getting that a little mixed up, but that's Sierra. Lucas Arts and Mist killed those kinds of adventure games and we should be happy for them. Yeah, in LucasArts games, you can't die. Especially Grim Fandango, where you're already dead. Just cutting out the middleman. You throw the pie at the Yeti's face. Okay. Is he as dangerous as the ski for Yeti? I did do that level already, but that's okay. We did it again. Oh, a hippo! In The Legend of Kirandia, The Hand of Fate, if you don't pick up a stick during the game, you can't beat it. Is there anything special about this stick? Oh. 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 Interesting. Like this hippo snot bubble. Oh, Gordo. Gordo, activate. You've heard of activate your almonds? Well, this has activated my Gordos. Excuse me. The original King's Quest had an infamous Rumpelstiltskin puzzle where you had to guess his name. Oh, I've heard of that one! Where you have to do it, like, backwards and in reverse from, like, like an A equals Z type cipher, something like that. But no one could figure it out, so in later releases they changed it so you could just type his name in backwards without that weird extra cipher. Yeah, you're told to think backwards, so you try his name backwards, but it doesn't work. So you're actually supposed to do some sort of, like, A to Z cipher, I think? Yeah. Like, why? That's so mean. And it's misspelled! <laughs> oh, man. That's... Oh, did anyone playtest these games? Probably only masochists. It's just a stick you can use to lever something. You get it in some er uh, some earlier puzzles, but if you don't retrieve it, you'll get stuck. Ugh. See, Hamtaro supremacy, because Hamtaro never gives up his sticky stick. Oh, I need the hippo bubble to get in there. Oh, whatever. They made it R-U-M-P-L-E rather than R-U-M-P-E-L. That does seem like the kind of thing people might naturally dunk up anyway, so maybe some people solved it by accident. I'm just gonna drink some water one sec. There we go. Yeah, so it's not Rumpelstiltskid backwards exactly. It's, uh... What is it? L F N K O V H G R O G H P R M. Gesundheit. Wait, why am I over here? Did the the hippo just make me travel? Is it not like a full zone? It's just hippo. Fahogo gods. It's right. It's Fahogo gods. Huh. Oh, I didn't beat the level. Eh. This is what happens when I'm half reading chat. <laughs> I think I just zoned out for like the entire last bit of the level. Oh, so wait, I have to ride the hippo bubble? Up? Okay, I'll pay attention this time. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
Look, streamer brain. <laughs> if you ever see somebody stream a game and they miss something obvious, cut them a little slack. Because when you're reading a chat, it gets tricky. But of course, if they keep doing it, no mercy. Plus, who's beating all oh, my bubble? There's there's another hippo up ahead, right? Why do these these birdfish look so upset about something? Yeah, no, you, you have every right to waggle your, your finger. I I have earned the waggle. Cut me some slack this time. Okay, yeah, I see. The goal is up there. That's... That is not the goal. I need a hippo bubble. Mm. Please don't metronome sacred fire on you. <laughs> I'm gonna use... I'm gonna use sheer cold is what I'm gonna do. All the enemies in this game are so good. They're so expressive. Please put them in future Mario games, Nintendo. I know you won't, but I like to imagine it. Fisher, what about Guillotine? We're just uh, rambling off all the one-hit KO moves. It's not a one-hit KO move, but I'm also thinking about Zap Cannon. Use like Mind Reader Zap, zap Cannon. Up, up Mario, up. It's a one-hit KO! <laughs> like, we're talking about instant death, and now Rifam brings up Hamtaro. That seems about right. <gasps> Space Zone! I actually went to the moon! Ah, adorable! Mario's actually wearing his space helmet. Underwater physics? No, okay, I can't swim. I just... Jump weird. Ah! Uh, cute! Wow, the Proto Mario Galaxy. Oh, and this waltz music is very cute. I feel like a waltz is appropriate for space. Maybe because I'm thinking about the, uh, the Comet Observatory. Uh, big jump! Good job, Mario. That is the angriest UFO. I don't need this, but I want to get it. He hasn't learned the ability to breathe in space yet. Maybe it was the Luma that was letting him breathe. Although, the Mario series as a whole is very inconsistent about when Mario can and cannot breathe in space or underwater. I probably shouldn't just be, like, hopping up above the top of the level, because A, I might die. If I hop into a pit, and B, I'm gonna miss some fun enemies. Like, whatever these little rocket guys are. Oh, that's right, he could breathe on the moon in Odyssey. Eh. Fire on the moon, even though fire shouldn't work because there's no oxygen. Oh, look how happy that little planet is. Adorable. I, too, am feeling that happy to be exploring space. something funny to me about how slowly those cannonballs are traveling. Whoosh. Speaking of angry faces, you want to thank me for retweeting that unused sprite from Yoshi's Island onto your timeline. It was very funny. You're welcome. I hesitated for a second thinking, is this image going to bother people because it's so disconcerting looking? And then I thought, good. You try shooting a cannonball out of my nose at high speed. It's called sneezing? Is there anything up here? Like a secret block? No. Oh. Huh. Uh, aha. Is it trying to play that, that same kind of trickery where... Oh, hang on. I need some more leverage. You didn't actually beat the level! Oh, I need a cannonball. It's not the unused game over screen in Luigi's Mansion, it should be fine. <laughs> or with the, the weird creepy face. Ding dong. 
Oh, but I'm going in the lower one. Is that bad? I guess not. I know I missed the secret exit. I'll go back. I'll go back. I knew it was there. I gotta be careful not to not to hit the bell this time. Okay. I don't mind because this waltz music is very cute. <laughs> no, it's good to be sure. But I saw that that secret behind those blocks. I gotta use the uh, fire to destroy. Gotta make sure I don't lose my uh, fire power. I feel like Rabbit Mario would be more appropriate here, because, you know, Moon Bunny. No! Well, there's another one somewhere on this level, so it's not too bad, but it's still sad. Eh, there we go. Come on, Mario. Whoa! Fireworks! Eh, there we go. Everything is fixed. I don't know if I'll do my my uh, Saturday afternoon stream tomorrow. I was thinking about it because I want to play a little bit more of that Dicey Dungeons uh, DLC. But at the same time, I don't know how hot it's going to be. Maybe another short one. For the sake of my gaming pride, I must not take damage. And also so I don't have to redo things to get another Fire Flower. Whoop. This little segment is a little slow, though, because I... Got to do the sensible thing and wait for the piggies. And also, I don't want to try jumping over more than one spike at a time. Ugh. Play with honor, just like I did in the auto-scroller. And when fighting the rat. Ugh. Ugh, big jump! Okay. Don't hit the bell. Come on, Mario. Oh, it's driving me crazy. Hang on. Uh, I need to jump enough to get over there and at least hit the second one, but I don't want to hit the bell. Ugh. Oh, this is... I wish I could crouch and then, like, jump up there. Oh, this is driving me nuts. Mario. Mario, can't you just, like, lift your hand up a little... Did the piggies respawn at all? Ah, oh, come on. This is a game you didn't have until you were in high school, but everybody you borrowed a Game Boy from as a kid had this game and always loved it. Or you always loved it. You never beat it way back then, though. This one, yeah? I'm sad I never got to play it until now, but... Ah, oh, why? Can I go over the bell? I don't think... I get only triggers if I touch it right. No, I'm gonna touch the bell. Don't... <laughs> I'm starting to think I need a, to jump off a cannonball from a pig, but I don't know if they respawn. Please, I need pig. I need pig. There is no pig. Ah, oh, I'm going crazy! I don't need the pig. I don't need the pig. Ugh. What am I missing? How? <laughs> I mean, it's nice that I don't need the pig because making you require an enemy that does not respawn is pretty mean. Maybe I have to angle my, my jump. Notice the wording of your sentence. Do I need something else for the secret exit? I need something else. What am I missing? Oh. I'm sure I'm just beating my head against a wall uselessly. Uh, and the heat's making me stupid. Oh, Mario. Can I have a hint? I'm sweating. Uh, 
I'm sure this is infuriating to anyone who's put. There we go. Okay, just kidding. Just kidding. I just wasn't doing it right. Is this not... Is this not... It? Is this nothing? Wait. I thought for sure... Eh? Eh? What? No. Why? <laughs> Why is it there? Why would you put that there then? If there's nothing behind it. Oh, I'm gonna have to scour the level again, aren't I? I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm just going in this door. Time for another round of that old Nickelodeon game show, Figure It Out, but I've never seen that show. We didn't get it here in Canada. Super Mario Land 2 used Fake Out. It's super effective. Ugh. I still accomplished something amazing. What? Suffer? That is pretty amazing, I do agree. Mmm, pain. I love pain. The secret slime word? So if you say the secret slime word, you get slimed? Is that how it works? A Canadian who did not have Nickelodeon, so... Well, this feels like there might be something secret up here. Whales have these blocks, right? No. Maybe I will take the upper path and see if there's stuff up here. Sono tori this. Say word, get slime. Oh. What is that slime made out of, I wonder? You actually watched Figure It Out quite a bit as a preteen. Danny Tamborelli's I don't know rings in your brain every so often. I don't know who that is. Oh. Is it related to this happy little planet? <gasps> Because it's, it's unique. I'm not killing anything with this star, but that's okay. You're beautiful, Mario. Vanilla pudding and applesauce dyed green. Interesting. Feels like a waste of pudding. But I guess it would have to be uh, food safe, since I'm sure people would get it in their mouths. I do remember um, we had this game show in Canada for, like, preteens called Uh-Oh. I don't know if that was on Nickelodeon in the States at all, but it also had similar, like, slime and people sticking their hands in gross, goopy stuff. I found the way on accident. <laughs> well, I mean, the planet was, you know, unique. There had to be something about it. Why, though, would they put those blocks there by the exit and make me suffer like that for nothing? Gunpei Yokoi... Well, he has since passed. I was gonna say, I'd like to have a word with you, but... Well, there's gotta be something down here, right? Not just death. Oh, it's just money. I have no need for money! You remember Uh-Oh, and the leather-clad buff man who threw children in the goop. I only have a vague recollection of that. Maybe I blocked it from my mind. Uh-Oh. Do 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 do. Oh, it's not death? You know, I'm almost a little disappointed it's not death. This is where you bumped your cartridge and deleted all your save files this morning. Oh. Well, I guess the non-linearity means at least you can dull the pain by playing earlier levels. Oh, I can't... I can't leave this way? No death, just boredom. Oh, Feels like a waste. Come on, Mario, you can jump higher than that. That's your whole steez. You're not doing a very good job with your steez, may I say. Why is that star so angry? This doesn't feel like the correct exit. Why does the moon look so sad? <laughs> Guess I have to get the secret exit again. Why is it so angry? No shine, me angry. The moon is also sad by this heat wave. The moon can see the effects of global warming from space, but knows it is powerless. Me too, Moon. Me too. Eh. 
Moon has a headache. That would make anyone sad. Moon does have, like, a plumber walking all over it. I guess that would give me a headache, too. It's got a star jabbed in its head. You'd be sad. <laughs> no migraines, please. Okay. Up we go. Very slowly. Why is the moon- Oh, I was reading chat. Why is the moon sad? You could capitalize every word in that sentence and it would be a Jaden Smith tweet. Oh. Ding, ding. I guess I can't really call them Kaizo blocks, but they're inconvenient all the same. Uh, uh. Stressful in platformers when you have jumps where you just make it. There we go. I'm gonna take another water drink once. Water drink of water. <gasps> water drink, one second. Okay. Invisible blocks revealing a path that's pure loss levels. True dat. Oh, posture check. Here, let me let me do that too. Eh. Okay, there we go. I've done some readjustments to my chair, so it's a little easier on my back. Oh, my neck and shoulders are all hecked up again. Well, I say again, as if they've ever stopped being hecked up. But I was smart, and I took some medicine before stream. Ugh. Do these little rocket fellas have names? Like, do only some of the enemies have names? Uh, I'm so worried about falling again. Angie Star! <gasps> that hurts me?! Eh? What?! It hurts me?! Hang on, I'm gonna move again. What?! He Angie for a reason, jeez! What a heck! Oh, I, do I need something to kill that star with? Yeah, but stars don't hurt me. Star would never hurt me. Well, maybe Twig from Paper Mario. I don't trust that guy. But the betrayal. Well, I guess it's not the first time a, an angry celestial body in Mario has caused significant pain with the angry sun and all. The angry sun used to freak me out when I was little. I always dreaded doing that level in uh, Mario 3. But now I'm just like, let's go, let's go, let's go. I say that level, I mean, there's there's another angry sun level in uh, World 8, but you don't see that until much later, so. Okay, I'm just gonna go up here. I don't wanna get hit with fireworks. Can I kill the angry star? I'd say spin jump on it, but we've established that spin jump doesn't work. Oh, no, or at least pointy things, so I wouldn't want to use it on the star. Maybe I need a fire flower? Although I don't think the game would like not provide me with a fire flower in the level if I needed to use it. Eh, nope. Twink, more like stink. Oh! Where the heck is that block? What? Come on. There it is. That was too far to the left. If you stepped on a star, it would hurt. I think I would be on fire. Um, too, be uh, too busy being on fire to step. Like, I am practically on fire now. This apartment is so hot. Forgive me if I'm not the most coherent. Let's go, let's go. Okay. That's right, you'd vaporize before you got anywhere close enough to step on the star. Is it just me or I am, am I engulfed in flames? 
Has any Mario Beyond 1 and Lost Levels had the maze levels? Uh, that's a good question. Like, you mean the ones where you have to go a specific direction or it just loops, right? Like, there's multiple paths you can take? Well, I can't think of any off the top of my head. Like, I'm not counting the levels in Mario 3, which are maze-like, but not mazes in that sense. Yeah, the Bowser Castle stages. New Super Mario Bros. DS had a maze stage. I have played some of the new Super Mario Bros. games, and yet they all kind of blend together. Except maybe New Super Mario Bros. U. I think that one was probably the best one. Okay, what am I gonna do about Angry Star? I can't kill Angry- do I just have to eat the hit? Cause I could eat the hit, I guess. Actually, I probably could have made that jump, but oh well. I ate the hit, and I'm up here now. Uh, is... No, hang on. Not in it for the buzz? No. It... It... Hang on. I, I fear we are at an impasse again. Okay, oh, you know what? The secret, I bet, is, like, down one of these little holes. But I don't know which one. Maybe? No, I gotta look. There's nothing here but blocks, though. Mmm. Where's the secret? Or, I mean, just the goal. Just the goal. The regular, regular goal. Because that didn't work. You know what I mean? Isn't this... Doesn't this have, like, a proper e a level? You know what I mean? Didn't I not technically beat this and that's why the moon is sad? Or did I beat it? Was I just going back for no reason? I thought there was, like, a proper secret exit. Oh, most secret stages are just fun coin romps. I thought I had to take the correct exit. Well, I just wasted people's time. All for Angry Star. You can't blame me, though. I wanted to know if something was up there past Angry Star. Yeah, I, I realize now, looking at it on the world map, that that star is just jammed in there. Also, this is some funky, fresh music. I don't know why all the stars are so angry, though. Trouble up in the star road, perhaps. Oh. In my defense, I haven't heard this song before now. But it's good. Oh, well, I'm not getting that. I have just realized I can jump repeatedly here. I'm a genius. My god. I can't believe I just- I never tried until now, but... <laughs> Mushroom just can't catch up. Oh, the stars are not in my favor tonight. Eh. I can't believe I just never noticed you can just jump freely. Or is it only this level you can do it in? Just this level, okay. So I'm not a total ding dong, just sometimes. Sure would love a power up so I don't die and have to do an auto scroller again. Oh, well, if I try and get that, I'm definitely gonna hit that fish. Only in space two. In space one, you're limited to one jump. I am Kirby now. This is also reminding me a little bit of those levels in Galaxy, um, where you had to drag Mario between those, um, like those blue, uh, I don't remember what they're called, but they're, you point the Wiimote at them and he gets dragged to them and kind of hovers there. Tatanga? Tatanga, is that you? Oh. Oh. Whoops. Tatanga? Where are you here? 
Yeah, where Daisy? Maybe he tried getting her again, but she was ready and kicked his ass. So now he has to go after the softer target, being Mario. I don't suppose there's any other power-ups here, are there? Probably not. The Danga. Was he a dad now? I'm assuming I just jump on this guy. Oh, heck. Okay. Ah, beans. Tatanka got into coin collecting. You think, like, he spoke to Wario about this at all? Like, does Wario know another form where Big Bad is kicking around? Are they in cahoots since Tatanga has a golden coin? Okay. You know what's tricky here is the fact that I move slower. Okay, I just gotta goad these into exploding. Ow! Oh. There we go. Ow! Oh. He's no fan of Wario, but the gig pays well enough. Wario gave the coins to some of his flunkies. Tatanga is freelancing. <laughs> Times are tough. Even Tatanga has to get into the gig economy. Yeah, worships are expensive. You think he's like an Uber driver? When he's not trying to destroy me? Oh, I can hold a flow. You're right. Well, that makes things easier, so I don't have to mash to get above him. Okay, so he fires those orbs twice. And then... Charges at me. Whoop. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's way easier. I don't have to mash. Oh. Oh, well. That's cool. There he goes. Into the vacuum of space. Goodbye. Oh, I got them all. Wow. Did I miss any secret exits anywhere, or secret levels? Never to be seen again. Maybe they'll put him in Mario Tennis on the Switch too. Rip Anga. And with that, Mario's commemorative coin collection be complete. The turtle eyes. Oh, and Dancing Ghost. Okay, I gotta go check these out. You're right. Hang on, I'm gonna- I'm gonna go look. I wanna go see the whale with its eyes open. Oh yeah, it's awake! Hey, buddy. There it is. It's kind of a weird face on that whale. I don't know what's going through its mind. Okay. Something very funny about the eyes on Macro's own Mario, too. Oh yeah, they do bob in time to the music. That's cute. Ah, and they spin and twirl. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Talented. I'm also getting Link's Awakening vibes from this. Like with Mambo's Mambo is what I'm thinking about. Do, 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 do. That's so cute. Reminds you of Mario 3 maps with the dancing trees. Yeah, me too. Do, 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 It's like, why am I awake? Yeah, same whale. Same. Come on. Come on, Mario. Don't be shy. So this was like originally Mario's ca- Ooh, Mario's castle, yeah. But Wario took over it for his big debut. Ooh. Can I jump on these? Are they statues? Yes. They're like- they're like the Bowser statues that spit fire at you. 
Oh! Big boy. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have tried to do that jump all in one go. It is Mario's castle. I don't think you need a castle, Mario. Maybe that's why we've not seen it again. Well, no, there's Mario's rainbow castle from the first Mario Party. Something about these big spiky balls reminds me of an obstacle in... I don't remember what. Like, something you'd see in a Sonic game, maybe? Okay, piranha plants, bullet bills, like, legally they are not allowed to fire- Oh, well, a projectile when I am next to them. That's the rule. Most of the rest of the game is at three, four, uh, three to four or so, and this stage is at ten. Oh, it's never a good sign when a Mario game gives you 900 seconds on your timer. Oh my, you are correct. Gotta pull out all the stops somehow. This music reminds me of something. Just that bit. I don't know what, though. Oh, beans! I should have jumped on it. Not just sauntered on it. Come on, Mario. Come on. I know I said I was only going to go for like an hour, but I want to beat this because I'm near the end. And my hands are sweating profusely from the heat. Ugh. Oh, beans. I didn't jump into that spike ball this time. You love the OC remix of the theme for this stage, Seizing the Castle. It does sound like the opening to Chaos King. Maybe that's what I'm thinking about. Apparently the devs had to tone down the difficulty of the entire game because they were so used to their own game. I think I mentioned before in stream once, but there's a Game Center CX short episode um, where he interviews Satoru Iwata. And Iwata talks about the reason why a lot of old games are so difficult is because, like, the developers would spend all their time playing their own game and, as a result, would get really good at it. Um, so they don't really have a good concept. What the heck? Of, uh, the difficulty anymore. What is this? Oh, I'm triggering these by stepping on those tiles, huh? Oh, should have gotten more of a running start. What's another thing I need to peek at? Something else I'm missing? Easy mode? There's an easy mode in this game? How do they make it easier exactly? Oh, I didn't think that would- you know what, I'm just gonna take the death. So I can keep the mushroom. I know what you'd really do to make it easy mode, and s except, I don't know, maybe Mario can take an extra hit before dying? Removes a bunch of obstacles, adding extra platforms, I see. Yeah, it wasn't even in my frames, the collision on those things are... Man, you know, no, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. Jeez. That's a little cheap. We had a hitbox and those big spiky balls are. Ah! Uh, weird. That's kind of annoying. Like, it's a blind jump. Don't put a spiky ball there. Jeez. Half those fireballs aren't shot, huh? Well, kind of nice that they have an easy mode, considering it's probably not 
uh, very common in games of this era. I know, like, the whole, like, oh, easy mode, oh, kimoi is a point of contention amongst some gamers. But I think accessibility is really important in games. And I know some people are like, well, what about the dev's intended experience? And like, well, that's true too, but there's nothing stopping you from experiencing the way the dev's intended. Um, whereas if people, you know, need to play with certain accessibility things on or an easy difficulty, I mean, it doesn't affect your experience, right? I want more games to be accessible to more people. Because then more people buy and play my favorite games, and I can talk to them about it. You press select on the file select screen. Oh, I hit it anyway, heck. Couldn't remember if it was this one or this one. And that... You press select on the file select screen and it gives you the option. It's nice that it's there. Oh. Okay. Ah. Okay. We're good. I'd love a checkpoint, honestly. I'm half expecting a Kaizo block somewhere. I just over a pit of lava, just suddenly a Kaizo block. Is this gonna bottom out for me too? Do those fall? Little baby jumps, little baby jumps. Oh, looks like maybe they go up. Little baby jumps. Little baby jumps. There we go. Whoa. Maybe I should have just kept running. Oh well. So did Wario have these installed or did Mario have... What the heck? <laughs> can I jump on this? I really don't want to die and have to... Yes, I can. I don't want to die and have to redo stuff. What? What? I mean, wow. All right. Don't you fight like in WarioWare, um, like in the final Wario collection of micro games? Like, there's one of these things in his boss fight. You wanted to see it hit the corner perfectly. No, no DVD screensaver for you. I'm worried I'm gonna hit one and then bounce into the other just like that. Oh. You thought the first one was the final boss. You never beat the Wario Ball as a kid. Oh. These Mori are the faces of evil. You must conquer each. Well, look, maybe this next time through it'll hit the corner perfectly like a DVD screensaver. Okay, am I gonna take a cheap hit from a spiky ball when I make a jump? Place your bets. Place your bets. Or that. That too. <laughs> Took a second for the desk uh, sound to kick in. Like, really? Yeah, I gotta do it all over again. Well, thankfully, I think the worst part is the first bit. Just because of the, uh... Sometimes you jump and then you get hit in the face with a fireball. Like, the timing is a little wacky. And I can't just sit in the corner and wait for it to fire that fireball because I... I, t I yeah, I, I take a hit. Here, I'm just gonna... I wanna try and keep that mushroom if I can. This level is a no joke. You're always taken aback by how much more difficult it is compared to the rest of the game. It's definitely a step up, I think because of its length. That you have to redo a lot if you bite it somewhere. Oh, I had it and I jumped into it. Forget it. Do it again. I can duck on the very edge of that. Okay, so it does work? That's good to know. Because I'm, I'm all hesitant. I don't want to eat a fireball to the face. <laughs> That's the edge of it, right? <laughs> 
it's a little frame perfect, but there's just enough room to do it. Well, I was on the edge of it, uh, briefly. <laughs> oh, I skidded off. Maybe I should just press forward. I'm on the edge of glory. You know what this needs? Some cool Sonic final boss music. I don't know why, but I was just thinking about... We need, like, live and learn or what I'm made of. Oh, why did I jump into that? I, I got past the piranha plant without taking a hit, and then I got hit anyway. Wet. Boop, boop. When is Sonic ever not on my mind? I mean, I am a Mario fan. First and foremost. I do like me a good Sonic game, but, you know, good is, uh, difficult these days. I'm curious to see how Sonic Frontiers is gonna turn out. A little, from what I've seen so far, it looks a little bland, but, I mean, you know, it's not out yet. Perhaps they will step it up in the interim. Okay, there we go. I appreciate these little breather rooms where I can get a mushroom. If I could just hang on to the mushroom now, we'd be all set. When I play Mario in Sonic of the Olympics, I go Team Mario. Uh, I would go Team Cream the Rabbit, but she's not playable. She's stuck as a referee. Although I think that's because she is too powerful. I kind of, uh, I swap characters a lot. It's like Mario Kart. No brand loyalty. Um, like, oh, whoa, right, I forgot about this. Like, I'll play as Amy or Luigi, whatever. Shadow, because I find, oh, heck, I did it again. Because I find Shadow the Hedgehog kind of hilarious, I'm dead. Okay, I gotta remember, there are pressure plates in that room that I can't step on. I am the Eggman. It's what I am. I am the Eggman. I've got the master plan. It's very hard to sing a song and... I'm just gonna eat the death. I wanna keep that mushroom. I wanna... It's hard to sing a song while I'm hearing more music in the background. You never paid attention to game journalism at that age, but anybody know at what point did Sonic 06 start looking really bad? I wonder if it was rushed out. I don't know when it came out exactly, like if it was one of those holiday releases. I've heard- I haven't played Sonic Origins, but I've heard some people say that it needed a little more time. Like, it felt a little buggy or incomplete in places. I don't know if that's true, because I haven't played it myself. But I did it again. I jumped into it. But I know, like, uh, I I think it's better to delay a game if it's if it has a significant amount of problems instead of like ah we'll just fix it in post. Two thousand five. You don't know. You're just assuming it looked bad well before release. You personally had a great time with Sonic Origins, but you know there were some bugs. Have you encountered any? Like, I've heard mention of them, but I don't know how prevalent they are in the average user experience. Oh, no! You did pay attention just to Nintendo. Same, same. Um, although, I actually, my favorite game magazine was Electronic Gaming Monthly. You know, even though I was Nintendo fan first and foremost, and I didn't have non-Nintendo consoles for quite a long time. I, uh, liked learning about other games. It's kind of like I mentioned my fascination with, like, the game design of old point-and-click adventure games. I just, I find the whole concept an interest, uh, of interest to me. So I liked learning about, like, the whole spectrum of gaming. Like, what's on the horizon? What's coming out? What's good? What's garbage? What just grazed me in the skull? You still don't have any non-Nintendo consoles. I mean, I haven't had any in a while. I have my PS2. Uh, we have a 360. That's about it. I 
And my brother played the 360 more than me because there weren't really a lot of games on it that piqued my interest. Oh, I forgot to duck till the last second. Tails' AI is definitely not very good compared to the original. He's pretty much constantly off screen and takes forever to return. Oh. Tails is slacking off, is what he's doing. Thinks he can take it easy. Oh, come on! What's with the collision detection on this stuff? Jeez. I mean, I will forgive it. It is a Game Boy game. Yeah, Tails is just a kid. Go easy on him. I'm pretty sure the people who decide the ages of Sonic characters have no idea how ages actually work. Because Tails is like, what? Eight? Six? I don't think he's that old. And Sonic definitely seems older than like... I don't know, how old is he? 16? And Amy's like, what, 14? Okay, I ducked this time. And I won't step on the pressure plates. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. There we go. No! 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 Oh, I slid! I slid! Amy is officially 12, but she lives alone in an apartment. You thought Tails was 10. He could fly a plane in any event. Well, it doesn't matter how old he is. He doesn't have a license. Tails is 8. And yet... And yet... It reminds me of... Um... Like, for some media, like, Japanese media, you can, like, find characters' official statistics, like their height and weight, blood type, etc. And I'm pretty sure the people who determine their height and weight have no idea, like, what an actual... And I, I know, I'm not going by, like, BMI because that's deeply flawed, but, like, oh, this this character is 5 foot 9 and weighs 110 pounds. Like, that is dangerously underweight. You know, here's a character who's really busty, but again, they're they're like a hundred pounds. Like, I don't think you understand how fat distribution works. Eggman's IQ is 300 according to Sonic Hero. Oh, which should put him about 17 standard deviations above normal. I need a drink of water. Oh, hang on, sorry, sweaty hands. Oh, the heat is killing me, but I want to beat this. I want to beat this. Oh, anime and video game girl, it's probably all air in there. <laughs> you remember bios for female characters always saying she'll never tell underweight. See, again, just reinforcing unhealthy stereotypes. Although you really shouldn't ask anyone their weight, regardless of gender. That's a little personal. Goodbye. I'm still melting. My hands are so sweaty, but I want to beat this. Ugh. I gotta power through the sweat. Oh, Cosmo just walked by. The other day I saw him splayed out at the very top of his cat post in a sunbeam. And I don't know how he can stand to do it. I'm always worried about Cosmo and my dad in this heat. Especially Cosmo, he's got a fur coat. And at least he's a short-haired cat. You also don't understand in American media when they give descriptions for people including their weight. How can you tell how heavy someone is just by looking at them? Beats me. Wow, I live long enough to get a- or I didn't get hit and I got a flower. Okay, don't forget to duck this time, Mori. I feel like I'm just getting steadily worse at this. Because my hands are sweaty. <laughs> Threatening to slip off the controller. Okay, and then don't step on the pressure plates. Time to lose the fire flower in the lava. Okay. Okay. 
Woof. Okay. I really shouldn't pull back. I should just gun it. Does Cosmo spend more times in certain rooms? Not really. He kind of goes back and forth between my room and my dad's room and the, li the main living room. So we only got three major rooms and his water dish is in the main room and it's topped off with cold water. I'm going to sneeze one second. Ugh. Uh, I can mute. Uh, there we go. Okay, baby jumps, baby jumps, baby jumps. Baby jumps, baby jumps, baby jumps. Baby jumps, not so baby that I don't make it. Okay. Thank you. I think it's funnier to me if Mario just had these in his castle. Like, Wario didn't install them. They were just there. Like, the, the big punching hands. Like, Wario just painted a W on them and called it a day. These, though, I don't have, I don't have an explanation for those. I don't know what they are. Maybe they're, like, part of Wario's soul. I really don't like feeling like I'm gonna hit one and then bounce into the other. Maybe the punchy hands are upside down and they're actually M's. What did Mario use them for? Ugh. Yo, babe. I didn't mean to take that hit. You know, like all the other times I've gotten a hit in this game. Those are all totally intentional. And this would be a really hard obstacle if you're like a little kid. Like, same with the pigs, I think. Because you have to anticipate where they're going to go. Orbio. Making bread. <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> oh, we're fighting now. Okay, you, you do the thing where you stomp. Can I- can I jump on him? Uh. Okay, yeah, I, What are those, like, bulby things up above me? What? Where are you going, buddy? Breaking all of my pottery. Bunny! But why is there like a conveyor belt of like vases above me? Oh no, they hurt me. I guess just an extra annoying obstacle. Oh no. So that Mario statue is very Mario 3 looking, isn't it? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, I just got a regular mushroom? <sighs> Can I go back and get another? No, I can't. Bun oh, he is about that big in Wario's Woods, and he's got that face. <laughs> Did I do it? I'm scared he's gonna get like a cheap hit on in on me. Oh, I really don't like bald warrior without his hat. Ugh. I'm uncomfortable. Game set. So if you die to him there, do you have to do the whole thing again? Woohoo. Hang on. Wario looking very yokai-esque. Why is that a feature, Mario? No checkpoints. Oof. Yeah, this would be really tough. Oof. Well, I'm really glad I didn't die at the end there, otherwise I would have been upset. Thank you, Mario. Your quest is over. Who's, who is thanking Mario? The moon? 
Yeah, let's just relive this memory of me about to kill that Goomba. Ah, I did it! I'm melting, but it was worth it. What a dang cute game! I'm so happy I played it! Thank you for nudging me in the direction of the secret exit so I didn't spend forever looking for them. Even if I wasted time in Spaceland thinking, oh, I didn't beat that level properly. <laughs> Wasn't Mario just doing it for himself because it's his house? Oh, you're right. Thank you, Mario! Oh, thank you. Thank you for joining me for this. Now I gotta think of what I'm playing on Tuesday, huh? Um, as I said, I don't know if I'll be doing my Saturday chill stream tomorrow. I think it depends on how hot it is. So I may skip this Saturday, depending. He freed the Mario Land residents of Wario's magic. I don't think Wario did a good job with his spell. Also, I don't like the way that Koopa's looking at me. Like, I don't know, I feel like Tatanga would have tried to kill me anyway. Same with that angry flying saucer. Those pointy ants were just vibing. I think they had every right to injure me. Mugyu! Magic is a thing that kind of dropped off in the Marioverse after the first couple games. That's true, like Bowser using magic to turn the residents of mu the Mushroom Kingdom into blocks. I mean, now and then we'll get, like, Kamek doing something, but... Aside from Kamek, yeah, magic is a little bit of an aberration. Thank you, Gunpei Yokoi! <laughs> Gosh, I love these enemies! Yeah, Bowser turning all the Mushroom Kingdom residents into bricks in the first game. So just don't think too hard about it whenever you break some bricks, I guess. Yeah, rest in peace, Gunpei Yokoi. Yeah, what does breaking the blocks do? Don't worry about it. Look, like, you know, you know, like in games and whatnot, if a character gets frozen solid, hello, Wario. Your eyes are totally unfocused. Uh, and anyway, a character gets frozen solid and then they get broken into chunks. Like that. A freezer spirit, that's right. <laughs> His thumbs up. A little thumbs up. Thanks, Wario. <laughs> I want that to be an emote. <laughs> it's just the fact his unfocused eye is giving me a thumbs up. Thanks, buddy. Is this one of those games where I gotta I gotta reset the console because I can't press a button here? The old Wario design is fun. I feel like they should bring it back like as an alternate costume or like, I don't know, Wario has to face his alternate self. Well, uh, thank you for joining me for Super Mario Land. What a gosh dang cute game. Wait, before, before I end the stream, hang on, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna save here, like as a save state, just in case there is something else I can do in the screen, but I'm gonna reset the game now. Okay, and now I'm gonna ignore that. This is all the levels, right? Did I miss something? I'm gonna go here. Cause I've been told that um, you can hear Totaka's song on the game over screen. 31 is max score, okay. So I am just gonna let these Goombas have the revenge. You can see the water tiles behind the Goomba's eyes. Their eyes are transparent. Have a good rest, Val. I hope you stay cool. Ready to die. Oops. Oh, you can scroll the world map? That's cool. I was holding the B button. Look at Mario running towards his death. He has no idea what awaits him. Yeah, Aversion! Ready to die. Aversion's good stuff. The angry hills in the background. Well, one hill is angry and one is like, Come on, man. It's fine. Be chill. This hill is like, um, excuse me, he asked for no pickles? Aversion is weird. Have you played it before, Andorra? Weird in a good way. Anyway, here we go. The last Mario. Yeah, that is weird. Both of you saying those angry hills in the background. Okay, so you wait here and you hear Totaka's song, right? Ba, 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 ba. You don't play games, you watch them. 
Even when you stream, you're not actually playing it. You're just watching a recording of yourself. I still love that Goomba. It just looks like, looking like it's being crushed by the weight of the pillar. Do, do, do. If you rec uh, recall, if you game over, you lose either one or all of your commemorative coins. Oof. That would be really rough. Like, so what if you game over um, when you reach Wario's castle? Like, do you have to get all the coins again? Like, the door closes? <laughs> I guess this is an appropriate screen to end the stream on, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You have to play all the boss stages again. Oof. That's pretty mean. At least they're short. If they were all the length of Wario's stage, that would be rough. Yeah, you played the game earlier and played back the recording on stream. Exactly. And you just had incredible psychic premonitions in order to respond to me. You don't think I tried, but after beating the bosses, you can't play them. No, I didn't. So, like, if you beat a boss, you can't go back into the boss stage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come on. Gotta beat Bird Up, Tatanga, Ordinary House Rat, Cosplay Witch, Three Little Pigs, and Squidward all over again. Before you could seize the castle again. Man, I forgot about Squidward. I killed him really fast, because I had a Fire Flower. And then Endora said, oh yeah, the Fire Flower is really broken in this game. It's cute music. We did it. There it is. We did it. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. I'm going to have a cold shower because I am just melting into a puddle right now. But it was worth it. Have a wonderful weekend. Maybe I'll catch you tomorrow, but it really depends on the heat. I'll catch you on Tuesday. I have to think about what I'm streaming next. But stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay cool. Have a wonderful weekend. I will catch you next time. Bye, Q.